morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome back to Trumpet's Call. I'm Maria. Pray that you're blessed this morning. Thank you for joining me for another session of our morning manna, a session in which we read a verse of scripture, or two sometimes, and then we pray. So this morning we will be reading the majority of Psalm 89, the Most High drop this verse of scripture, this chapter in my Ruach this morning, and so I thought it'd be great to read it to you this morning and then just pray. So we'll begin. I will sing of the mercies of Yahuwah forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. For I have said, mercy shall be built up forever. Thy faithfulness shalt thou establish in the very heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David my servant. Thy seed will I establish forever and build up thy throne to all generations. Selah. And the heavens shall praise thy wonders, O Yahuwah, thy faithfulness also in the congregation of the saints. For who in the heaven can be compared unto Yahuwah? Who among the son of the mighty, the sons of the mighty, can be likened unto the Most High? Yahuwah is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints, and to be had in reverence of all them that are about him. O Yahuwah, Elohim of Sabaoth, who is a strong Elohim like unto thee? or to thy faithfulness round about thee. Thou rulest the raging of the sea when the waves thereof arise. Thou stillest them. Thou hast broken Rahab in pieces as one that is slain. Thou hast scattered thine enemies with thy strong arm. The heavens are thine. The earth also is thine. As for the world and the fullness thereof, thou hast founded them. The north and the south thou hast created them. Tabor and Hermon shall rejoice in thy name. Thou hast a mighty arm, strong is thy hand, and high is thy right hand. Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth go before thy face. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Yahuwah, in the light of thy countenance. In thy name shall they rejoice all the day, and in thy righteousness shall they be exalted. For thou art the glory of their strength, and in thy favor our horn, our power, shall be exalted. For the Most High Yahuwah is our defense, and the Holy One of Yasharal is our King. When thou spakest in vision to thy Holy One and saidst, I have laid help upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one chosen out of my people. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him, with whom my hand shall be established. Mine arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name shall his horn power be exalted. I will set his hand also in the sea, and his right hand in the rivers. Verse 25, the Most High is giving us, I believe he's saying here, that he will give us power not only over the land, but over the sea. And many of you may or may not have heard of the marine kingdom that is strong and mighty in the sea. And at this some point, when the Most High sends our Messiah to be king over the land, all the nations, he will subdue the marine kingdom under his power. Continuing, he shall cry unto me, Thou art my father, O Elohim, in the rock of my salvation. Also, I will make him my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. My mercy will I keep for him forever, and my covenant 
shall stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. If his children forsake my law, my Torah, and walk not in my judgments, if they break my statutes and keep not my commandments, then will I visit their transgression with the rod, the rod of correction, and their iniquity with stripes, affliction. Nevertheless, nevertheless, my loving kindness will I not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that has gone out of my lips. Once have I sworn in my holiness that I will that I will not lie unto David. His seed shall endure forever, and his throne as the sun before me. It shall be established forever as the moon and as a faithful witness in heaven. Selah. I'll stop there. This chapter goes on down to 52 verses, but we'll stop there. It's so rich here. First of all, this psalm begins with praise to the Most High, telling us and giving us an example to sing of the mercies of Yahuwah forever and with our mouths make known his faithfulness to all generations. Mercy shall be built up forever and faithfulness established in the very heavens. And we're so grateful that he has built up mercy forever and established his faithfulness in the very heavens because it's that mercy and that faithfulness that has caused him to not forget about us. It has caused him to not break the covenant that he has made with David and with his descendants and with Abraham and with his descendants. He will establish us and establish David, his servant's throne, forever. And I believe here that David, his servant, the chosen one, is Messiah. He's he's establishing Messiah on the throne of David forever. Forever. And of course, Messiah is the king over his people, the Hebrews. And if Messiah is established forever, then Messiah's people, the royalty of his throne, the royalty of his kingdom, are established forever. Not because they're worthy of it, not because they've always done the right things, but because of the Most High's faithfulness. Because of his faithfulness. Who can be compared or likened unto the Most High? Verse 6. Who, who can be compared to him? He is great, and he greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints, in the congregation of the saints. And he is to be held in reverence of all those who are around about him. So may we approach his throne today with reverence. Who is strong like unto him? He rules the raging of the sea. He broke Rahab, the sea monster, the Leviathan, in pieces. The heavens are his. The earth is his. The world and the fullness thereof all belong to him. Hallelujah. His mighty right hand delivered our ancestors from Egyptian slavery. And he will do it again. He will do it again. Hallelujah. Justice and judgment are the habitation of his throne. The very structure and foundation of his throne are built on justice and judgment and mercy and truth goes before his face. Justice and judgment are the habitation of his throne or the foundation of his throne. That if he did not have the mercy and truth, we would all be destroyed. Hallelujah. So he marries his justice and his judgment with his mercy and his truth. And we're so, so grateful. And we're so blessed to be his people and to bask in the light of his countenance. For he is our defense our Holy One, our Set-Apart One, our King. Hallelujah. He says here in verse 19, I have exalted one chosen out of the people. So what what I see here is the Most High is telling us that he has exalted a people, first of all. When he called Abraham, he exalted a people. Abraham, I'm going to choose you and your descendants. And then within Abraham, he exalted David. He said, the throne will never cease to be of your bloodline. 
He promised him, your, your descendants will be royalty. And there's one coming, one chosen coming that will be king of all time. Hallelujah. Verse 27. Also, I will make him my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. Messiah is the firstborn of Yahuwah. And he is higher than all the kings of the earth. And one day soon, all the kingdoms of the earth will become the kingdoms of his Mashiach. When Messiah has put down all unruliness, all sin, he will come and present the kingdom to his father. But he gives us a promise here. In verse 29 he says, The seed also will I make to endure forever. That's us, brothers and sisters. We are his seed, and he's telling us that we're going to endure forever. We may be afflicted. We may be tossed aside for for a, a moment. But he has promised that he would not forsake us forever. And he's saying here in verse 30, If his children forsake my law, my Torah, which we did, and walk not in my judgment, which we did, if they break my statutes and keep not my commandments, which we did, then will I visit their transgression with the rod, and he did that, the rod of correction, and with and their iniquity with stripes, the stripes of affliction. And we have been being afflicted these past 2,000 years. Verse 33, though. Nevertheless, my loving kindness will I not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. He will not break his covenant, and he will not alter the thing that's gone out of his lips. He promised and he doesn't lie. And the seed of David, the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will endure forever in the throne of his chosen Mashiach as the son before him. Hallelujah. These are promises that we can stand on, especially in the times in which we find ourselves. And we need to be able to go to the scriptures and receive encouragement to continue on, to continue to endure. So I'm so grateful for Psalm 89 and all the promises that are contained within. So right now, we're going to just take our needs and our concerns to the throne room of heaven and receive help in this time of need. So let's pray, brothers and sisters. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day that you've granted to us this new day that we've never seen, this new opportunity to praise your name, your name that is worthy, your name that is above every name, Yahuwah. Thank you so much, Father, that your name to us represents the remembrance of our salvation. When we hear the name Yahuwah, we remember, we zakar, we remember your faithfulness, we remember your your set-apart nature. We remember your power and your justice and your truth and your righteousness. We remember how you delivered us. We remembered how you destroyed Rahab in the sea. We remembered how you drowned Pharaoh's army. We remember, we remember how you punished the firstborn of all of Egypt. You caused them to fall prey to the death angel that came through that land that night in the darkness. We remember, hallelujah, we remember you providing manna for us in the wilderness. We remember you bringing water from the rock. Hallelujah. We remember you driving quail into the land so our ancestors could have meat when they cried out for meat. They didn't do it in a way that was grateful, so you caused that meat to rot in their very teeth because they weren't grateful. We understand today, Father, that it is your good pleasure to give us the kingdom. It is your good pleasure to give us the things that we need in this world. We need only ask and have faith in your goodness. Help us today, Father, to have faith and trust in your goodness. As you are good beyond anything that we've ever known, help us to know that, to trust in that, to stand in that, Father. Help us. In these challenging times we find ourselves in, we've reached the end of the age, truly. We are in the last seconds of time before we turn over. The clock is turned over to something completely new. 
help us to endure as this beast system is trying so hard to hold on to power. Help us to endure, Father. Like good soldiers, help us to endure. Help us to take on the hardness of endurance, but yet remain soft in our demeanor toward you and toward each other. Grant us, Father, that we would love one another with a fervent love. Cause us to look out for one another and to bless one another and to pray for one another, to uplift and to prefer one another, brothers and sisters, Hebrews, and those who are a part of the nation of Yasharal, whose hearts are turned toward Messiah and to his people. Because we're a package deal. If you want Messiah's salvation, you have to want his people. You can't have one without the other. Hallelujah. So I thank you, Father, for your faithfulness to us, that you haven't forsaken us. Yes, you committed us to the rod, and you brought us many stripes. And the stripes continue in in many ways throughout the world as your people continue to be mistreated. But Father, one day soon, the stripes will end and the rod that you've given the enemy to punish us will be yanked and wrenched away and you will use your rod of correction to correct them and to punish them while you assuage our wounds and heal us and give us time in your kingdom to heal from all the things that we've been through. I thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. Bless us today, Father. Bless us. Provide for our needs. Provide for our physical and emotional and spiritual needs. Provide finances where they're needed. Provide healing where it's needed. Grant us that we would walk in divine health, Father. Put none of the diseases of the Egyptians upon us as we turn to Torah and keep the things that you have commanded us to keep. Let the blessings of Deuteronomy 28 be ours today, Father. Reverse the curse, O Father. Reverse the curse. Reverse the curse and let the the blessings of Deuteronomy 28 be ours, Father. Let it fall on us like rain. Let it fall on us. Let it fall on us like rain. Rain that falls in its season. Rain that doesn't harm or hurt. Let your blessings fall like rain, Father. Let your will be done in our lives today and every day. Grant us that we might be the people that you've called us to be. Grant us that we might walk in set-apartness, that we might walk before you and be perfect. Hallelujah. That we might walk before you and be perfect. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Bless my brothers and sisters today. Bless all those that you have chosen to be a part of the kingdom that you've built on this earth. Let your will be done every day. Let your kingdom come, O Father. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let righteousness spring forth as the noon day. Let your kingdom come and elevate your people back to the status that we had before we fell from grace. O Father. Forgive us. Forgive us for our sins. Forgive us for our trespasses. Forgive us for sitting against you up behind every high hill and every tree. Forgive us for eating things that are abominable. Forgive us for idolatry, worshiping false, false deities. Forgive us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Father. Have mercy. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Grant us, Father, that we might come together. Ephraim and Judah together again. One stick in your hand, Father. Grant us that we might come together, even within the southern kingdom of Judah, scattered, that we might come together, that there be no more bickering and backbiting and fault-finding and debate and discussion over things that don't profit. That we come together and fall on our knees and repent to you 
for all of the sins that we've committed and the sins of our ancestors, that we might spend our time in your presence, in repentance, in prayer, and in rejoicing in your goodness. That we not take up the activities that the Gentiles engage in, endless debate, endless discussion, never able to come to the knowledge of the truth, ever learning, but never able to really come to the knowledge of the truth. May we lay aside all that weight and all the sin that's beset us in the past. And may we be like Hebrews, people that seek their Elohim early so that they may find him. And you will be found of us. You're not running away from us. Your ear isn't deaf to our cry. Your eyes are not blind to our plight. You see, you know, you hear, and you care. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Cleanse us now. Heal us now. Receive us now. Make us yours again so that the whole world can see that you never broke your covenant with us, that you haven't replaced us. Make the whole world to see, Father. Make the whole world to see and acknowledge. Hallelujah. All of these blessings I ask in Yahushua's name. Amen and amen and amen. Well, thank you, brothers and sisters, for joining me for another session of our morning manna. I bless you in the Most High's name, and I thank you so much for all the new subscribers that we've had to the channel. Welcome. I'm so grateful that you're here. I'm so thankful that the Most High has brought us together, and I pray that our time together be fruitful. I pray that the Most High will bring forth his word and bring forth his promises and bring forth the illumination in the scriptures in a way that's blessing to all of us. So thank you for being here. May the Most High bless and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. And may all of your children be blessed of Yahuwah all the days of their long lives. May the Most High place his hands over the children and protect the children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for your goodness to the children of men. Shalom and shalom and shalom, brothers and sisters. Be blessed.